appreciate it. I just wanted to give you a call and go over everything from yesterday. Okay, great. Um, so as we talked about, we have 13 eggs retrieved. Mm -hmm. um, at the time of ICSI, once I looked at maturity, we have eight mature. Eight mature, okay. Eight mature. And then this morning we have five fertilized. Wow, okay. Yeah, that okay, is great. So, um, we, well, I went ahead and froze those this morning like we talked about. Okay. We're cut off at six, so those are frozen. Um, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. All right. And I guess, um, you know, they, you know, defrost well at this stage. Like, they don't need to be blasted at this stage. Well. Okay, great. Um, cool. it's, it's almost 100% survival. I think I've seen one in four years not survive. So, wow, okay. Um, I, would, I wouldn't be too worried about it. But I, granted, there's always a chance. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Um, I wouldn't be too worried about it. Uh, okay. They, our survival rate with this stage is very, very good. Okay. Um, it just gives us the ability to transfer on day three if we feel we can make that selection mm. because the uh, best place for it is back in back in its natural environment. So the yeah. incubator tries to mimic that, but it's not quite as good. So as soon as we can make our um, decision of which embryo is our best quality, then we put them back as soon as we can. All right. Okay. Well, sounds good. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Have a good day. Okay. You too. Bye bye. Thanks. Hey guys, I just wanted to recap what uh, the embryologist called and told us, just in case if you couldn't hear everything very well, but we did, out of the 13 eggs that they retrieved, eight of them were mature, and then they said that five fertilized. And for us, they did the ICSI process, so that's the intracytoplasmic sperm injection. And they did that, like a lot of times I feel like when I've heard them doing that is for sperm problems, but we don't have any sperm problems, but my doctor said that they do it when there's a smaller number of eggs because it just increases the fertilization rate and they'll hopefully have more that will fertilize when you have a smaller number of eggs. So that's why they decided to do that for us. And um, they also did something, they froze them today. So I know um, that was kind of different for me because I know a lot of people, you know, I hear that they, when you're doing a frozen embryo transfer, they let them grow out to a five day blastocyst and then they freeze them. But my clinic, they said if it's, if you have five or less fertilized eggs, they freeze them on day two. Um, and then when we're ready to do the transfer, which will probably be like the first week in March for us, and it just kind of depends on when my period starts and then I start taking some more medication like estrogen and progesterone and stuff like that to prepare my body. And um, so probably looking at the first week in March that we would do a transfer, they then would defrost the, egg, the fertilized eggs and let them like grow out at that point. And they said they do that because just in case if maybe they're not growing out that great, um, then they can go ahead and implant them earlier than day five and hopefully they would do better in my body than in the lab. So it's really just to focus on doing that frozen embryo transfer. My clinic is very, um, I guess strong in that and which really kind of makes sense to me especially since they've talked about how freezing techniques have gotten so much better and I even asked them on the phone you know how you know will they be able to defrost okay and he said it's pretty much like 100% survival when they defrost them he said he's worked there for 40 years and only one has not made it at that stage at a day two so anyway so that was encouraging to hear but um, and it, it also just like when I'm thinking about how I'm feeling right now, you know, today is the day after egg retrieval. I'm still not f feeling great. Um, it's still like hard to walk around. And uh, when I have to go pee, it hurts. Um, just the pressure from the bladder filling up and then like, anyway, it's just not comfortable. And um, 
So anyway, I, I, I'm totally fine with like, cause you know, they're big on letting your body get back to like recovering from egg retrieval, recovering from all the hormones that I've been injecting into myself and just get back to a normal kind of level and um, where my body's just ready for it. And they say really the success rates go up with frozen embryo transfers. So, um, so I'm definitely trusting them in that and feel like it's a good plan for us to do that. So yeah, I'm, um, I will say I was a little bit disappointed um, with five, you know, coming from 13 to only have five being fertilized. But also when I think about it, when I was told I only would have like six, maybe seven follicles, five is amazing. So, um, so it's kind of this, you know, again, it's uncertainty. And again, it's learning to surrender and trust. But uh, I am super grateful that we do have five because that is, um, you know, much better than I had originally thought when we were, I was thinking we were definitely not going to have 13 eggs retrieved. So um, I am very grateful for that. But yeah, so I will um, just continue to keep you guys updated in, in our next steps of what it looks like to prepare for the frozen embryo transfer and also just some more, um, hopefully some more like tips and stuff like that for IVF and talking more in depth um, about like some emotional parts of it and, and just infertility in general. Um, so yeah, please subscribe and stay tuned. Um, I look forward to connecting with you and updating you guys who are watching and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.